Meow and welcome back to Kitty Place Inherit the Earth, the quest for the orb. I'm Natty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I will be your host for today. So this time, or rather last time we left our hero, he was trying to figure out how to get out his two friends, Ok and Ia. But he got kind of lost in the maze that's the castle of the dogs. So I decided to put down there a little TV screen with an additional camera, or rather, I am in the additional camera, um, and start drawing a map as we progress through the castle. So let's have a look inside. So I will start out drawing a map with this Sharpie. And now it's going to be kind of weird because I'm left-handed and the map is on the right-hand side of the computer screen. So this will be lots of fun. So we have our first room. This is the entrance. And we have a straight room here. And let's see where we can go next. There is a turn to the left, which is one up and one to the left. So I'm drawing with my right hand now, although I'm left-handed. I think the map for you is mirrored. I messed up the webcam settings. One short moment. Let me correct that for you. And let's have it that way. Now let's move myself and my laptop a little bit to the side. So now you're seeing it as it should be. So next is a straight corridor. Straight corridor with one going off to the right, which is fake north. We're going to head straight into the hallway. And there is a room. And this room is the dining room. Now let's head back, walk to corridor, and now as we can see, the hallway goes extends to the left. Now we are, now we have walked around here, we are now walking towards fake north again, and there is a straight section with something going to the right. Let's see if what happens if we go straight. Another straight section. And again. A turn to the right. And we will head into the right hallway and we have a straight hallway and a turn to the left, which we will pursue. A dead end, which I will mark off by doing this. And then going back and then turning to the left, because if we're looking in, because if we're looking in fake south, which we are now, um, fake east, is in to our left. The thing is now I have to like it's 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 a bit weird for me now to do this. Okay, now we're looking in this direction. We're looking to the east and we're seeing 
a T intersection, which is this. I'm going to go to the left again. And now we're seeing a straight path with a pathway to the right. We're going to keep on the left the wall. So this is where the throne room is. Let me mark it like that. I'm going to first check back. So this is the throne room. This is a different map now. Uh, first, I want to map out this entire area. So we're going to head inside this hallway. Come on. And we have a turn to the right. And this is me hoping that the whole architecture of this castle may actually makes sense. That hallways are not intersecting each other and stuff like that. And we are walking to the south and there is a hallway to the left. Actually, that should be he like here, which we are going into. Another turn to the left, which is bringing us back to what I call north or fake north. And one to the right. And another one to the right. This, this and then down. And another straight section. So each room here is, if you see the dots, the small dots on the paper, each room is two dots, two by, so two by two squares. On a standard German 0.5 millimeter, uh, a 0.5 centimeter square paper. So another turn to the right, a turn to the left, we see the nice moon which is kind of weird because we are looking inside the castle. And another turn to the right. Straight and right. I'm going to keep walking straight now. Straight and left. Straight and left. I'm going to walk to the left now. So this is the castle wall, the outside wall. There should not be anything going beyond this else. The devs didn't make a map. Could well be. Nope. So that's the poker playing dogs. Now we head to the left, and I'm expecting a straight hallway. No. There is a straight hallway and the option to go right. I'm just going to check. I'm just going to go out back outside the castle using the map now to see if this adds up. So I'm going to straight. And left, which should have us go that way. And then left again. Follow the bend, it looks correct. And now this should have us end up outside. Perfect, so the map seems, it, it seems to work making a map. The rooms are of equal size. That's the important thing if you're making a map like this. So now I'm going to go and check out this part. So I'm going to head 
over to the right, uh, to the left, then to the right, take another turn to the right, and now check out this hallway, which we haven't seen yet. It is a dead end. I'm going to mark dead ends with this slight bar, so I know this is a dead end and not something that I haven't seen yet. Okay, now we want to go, I'm, I want to go and check out that bit. So I'm going to go to the left. Now this leads to the poker room again. And this is the one, okay, as I, as I suspected, these are just connected. Okay, now I only need to check out this part. Which I will by going that way. So taking the right here. The left, that is. Mixing up left and right is something you should not do. There we go. And the left again. Now I should be walking south. If I had... Yeah, now we're here. If I had taken the right, we would have gone to the throne room again. Now I'm going straight to see that part which we haven't seen yet. Which is, as I suspect, suspected, a dead end. Very neat. Now let's go to the throne room, which is just throne room, which is just straight ahead. Now, it shows us two walkways here, which seem to face in that same direction. What I'm going to do is, I'm real quick going to move my face out of the camera screen and um, add some letters with my actual left hand. So that's the poker room, the food room, and the throne room. And I'm just going to assume that the right hallway is simply here. Like I'm just crossing the room, which makes the map making easier. So, because I need to start assuming a uh, any direction again. Going to go here and I'm going to map this turn to the left by doing this. So the upper, this part is the right hallway, this part is the left hallway from the throne room, which are both on the right hand side of the wall. And we have a straight hallway. which leads us to a turn to the right. And yet another turn to the right. And a T-section with a choice to go left, which we're going to do. Another turn to the right, uh, left. Well, I mapped it in the way it was while well, calling it the wrong, which ends in a dead end. Look at that. <clears throat> Let's head back and check out the remaining, the remaining path, which is now to our left. We have another hallway. Ending us in a T section, which we see from this side. Going to the 
left. With a turn. Up to left hallway. And another turn. Which was needed. It was either a turn to the right or a dead end. So. And that's the bedroom. I was just confused because I marked a room with P and I thought P was for Prince, but of course it was for poker. So this is a B for bedroom. And I still wonder, I, th I still think that we need to interact with the chest. It's kind of weird that I think that, but why else are the other... I forgot to turn on the desktop audio, as it seems. I am so sorry. Now you can hear snoring prints. I did have a hunch right now and check the settings of, yeah, of the OBS. I'm sorry, half an episode without any game audio. I think I'm going to put some music in there. But let's leave Snoring Prince. As I said, I, I'm wondering why those those boards are squeaky. I mean, squeaky boards is, is supposed to be a challenge and I'm somehow supposed to be pretty sure I'm supposed to do something here and pick up the I'll catch you. Must have been a b I don't have time for correspondence. Yeah, that's that's kind of. You know, said it's kind of personal. It's kind of weird because. Well, maybe. Details. I hate fixes. Well, maybe it is because he's not a thief. So let's check out that remaining hallway, which is going straight here. Expecting a turn to the left. Yes. As I said, it seems like they did make a map of this place before. And yet another dead end. So that's that's proof. There is no more way to go. And we haven't found our friends yet. So this means that our friends are in another castle. Uh, sorry. That uh, I'm going to try walking through the dragon's maze again. At least now with the map I can quickly find my way through this maze. it or well, let's let's check is there something else here? nothing special about it hmm. nothing special about it nothing special about it nothing which has anything special about it so nope so let's set up And remember, we only have three hours left. I guess we need to somehow find a way back into the cell. And from within the cell, open it with a key or something. With, with the key that we found. So let's try the Dragon's Maze again. I dread this dragon's maze because of the dragon which teleports us to a random place within the maze. I'd have to be crazy to go back into there. There you have it. Not it's not just me who dreads the dragon's maze. Okay, now that's weird. 
I don't know where. Maybe it's. Uh, I'm. So I think I'm an idiot. I think the dogs that are playing poker. These are guarding the cells. So this is where I want to be. And I just thought it was one a random room with something to see in. So let's see. I think I went the wrong way. That's back outside, yes. I think I went one too early. Yeah, I'm going to the right, I'm going to the right again. I'm going straight ahead. This is the dead end. And this is where I want to be. Strip poker! Are you mad? We always lose. We'd be down to our collars in no time. <laughs> I'm just playing human tired. I don't know what I'm saying. I miss my leash. I really miss my leash. <laughs> I'm human tired instead of... <laughs> I think it's something like dog tired. There is... Hey, I see a fox. Not that old trick. <laughs> You're not... They, are, they are so drunk they're not even noticing us. Oh! Oh, okay, so the maze continues here, we can just walk past them. So now, I hope this works, because we just cross the room, it should be like this. Fingers crossed. Looks like it makes sense. Like this. And this, so this room was there to throw us off, and it did throw us off indeed. this ah okay now it makes sense so now we want to go left riff you've returned and there's i the knew prison. you would so basically So basically, let me just add some more details. Because I'm going to be showing you the map in all detail later. So I'm going to fetch a red one. Use my off hand, my right hand. So this room is a red herring. This room contains the key. And this room is where we want to go. So if you're playing the game, this is basically the map you'll be using. Perfect. Now, friends, how are you? I never doubted you'd save us. Of course you don't, because I'm a fox. Uh, actually, I'm a panther, but yeah. You are an honorable warrior to have returned. So let's use the key in the cell door. Ooh, that was loud. Let's go. Hmm. 
Now we have to walk back. Past the dogs that play poker and are pissed drunk. And here they come. Does it seem quiet around here? Too quiet. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Now I see a, a fox, a bear, and an elk. Hmm. Now let's get out of here. I remember that back when I played it with the solution, it just it, it didn't give me a map, which would have been. Exit to up, down, left, right, something like that. And it didn't have the letter map, so I don't have to make the name. You can use the R to make the name. It's good to see you, but I have nothing more to give you. No, I didn't enter. I did, but you didn't notice that I did that. I expect that her angry reaction is still going that way. By the way, this will be the only episode with the map. I just want to drag the window. Yeah, I know, I, I guess I can. Interesting design. That's kind of sad, to be honest, because it would, it would have just added a little bit of more feeling. I mean, as a kid, as I said, I played, I ended up in this part, ended up playing with solutions, so I, of course, didn't look left and right. But also, as a kid, I wanted to progress on. But, yeah, somehow, being able to look left and right would have been awesome. On the other hand, you have to think that this game is now 26 years old. Or something about 26 years, that is. I don't know which month it came out in, so... Let's check if we can progress past the mountain pass now. I wouldn't want to take a tumble down that. Are you sure this is the right way? Yeah, kind of am. We elk are known for our sure-footedness. Let me try to cross it. I would say... He will try to cross it in the next episode. Because the disc is blinking, showing me that about half an hour has passed again. Yeah, what have we done? We have freed our friends. Which is very good, because now we're a party again, not just us, or not just me alone, or Riff alone. And 
well, we drew a nice map of the castle, which I'm, as I said, going to show you in more detail just before the dice roll. And I think we can progress from here. So, without further, f further, without further ado, I'm going to show you the map in all its glory, and then I will roll the dice to show you when the next episode will come out. Bye-bye!